The Big Apple Swindle Part 1, The Friendly Facade In the heart of New York City, amidst the towering skyscrapers and bustling streets, lay a cozy corner store named Central Grocers. Run by the amiable Mr. Patel, it appeared to be like any other ordinary shop from the outside. However, hidden behind its welcoming exterior was a clever scheme that preyed upon unsuspecting customers. Mr. Patel was a smooth talker, effortlessly charming his patrons with his warm smile and friendly demeanor. His store was a magnet for busy New Yorkers seeking convenience and affordable prices. Yet, little did they know, they were walking into a trap set by Mr. Patel and his cunning associates. The scam was deceptively simple yet highly effective. Mr. Patel would inflate the prices of his goods, but with a twist, he would manipulate the labels, making them seem cheaper than they truly were. Customers, drawn in by the illusion of bargains, would unwittingly fall victim to his scheme. One sunny afternoon, Sarah, a young woman new to the city, strolled into Central Grocers in search of groceries for her small apartment. She was greeted warmly by Mr. Patel, who eagerly assisted her as she perused the aisles. Sarah, unaware of the scam, happily filled her basket with items, believing she was getting a great deal. As Sarah approached the checkout counter, Mr. Patel flashed his charming smile and began ringing up her purchases. However, as the total flashed on the screen, Sarah's heart sank, it was much higher than she had anticipated. Confusion clouded her mind as she examined the receipt, only to discover the truth staring back at her, the prices had been cleverly manipulated. Feeling betrayed and cheated, Sarah confronted Mr. Patel, demanding an explanation for his dishonest practices. But Mr. Patel remained cool and composed, his smile never wavering as he skillfully spun a web of excuses to justify his actions. Disheartened and disillusioned, Sarah left Central Grocers empty-handed, vowing never to return. Little did she know, this was just the beginning of a much larger tale of deception and fraud, one that would expose the intricate web of scams woven by the shopkeepers of New York City. Part 2. Unraveling the Scheme as Sarah walked away from Central Grocers, her mind churned with a mix of frustration and disbelief. She couldn't shake off the feeling of being duped, but a determined spark ignited within her. Instead of wallowing in defeat, she decided to take action. With newfound resolve, Sarah embarked on a quest to uncover the truth behind Central Grocers' deceitful practices. Armed with her smartphone and a sense of determination, she delved into online forums and community groups, seeking out others who might have fallen victim to similar scams. To her surprise, Sarah discovered a pattern emerging, countless individuals shared stories of being overcharged and misled by Mr. Patel and his associates. It became evident that Central Grocers was just one piece of a larger puzzle a network of dishonest shopkeepers preying on unsuspecting customers across the city. Fueled by a sense of justice, Sarah reached out to local authorities, presenting her findings and urging them to investigate central grocers and other suspicious establishments. With mounting evidence and public outcry, the wheels of justice began to turn. Meanwhile, word of Sarah's efforts spread like wildfire throughout the community. People came forward with their own experiences, joining forces to demand accountability and transparency from New York City's merchants. The once-hidden scam was thrust into the spotlight, sending shockwaves through the city's commercial landscape. Faced with mounting pressure and scrutiny, Mr. Patel's facade of charm and friendliness began to crack. No longer able to hide behind his deceptive practices, he found himself cornered, forced to confront the consequences of his actions. But amidst the chaos and turmoil, a glimmer of hope emerged, Sarah's bravery and determination had sparked a movement for change. Through her courage and perseverance, she had exposed the truth and united the community in the fight against fraud and exploitation. 
As the investigation into Central Grocers unfolded and the truth came to light, Sarah stood tall, knowing that her actions had made a difference. Though the road ahead would be challenging, she was ready to continue the fight, ensuring that the streets of New York City remained safe and fair for all. Final part, justice served. As the investigation into Central Grocers and other deceitful establishments progressed, the wheels of justice turned inexorably. Authorities, spurred into action by Sarah's diligence and the collective outcry of the community, conducted thorough inquiries, uncovering a web of fraud and deception that stretched far and wide. In a dramatic turn of events, Mr. Patel and his accomplices were apprehended, their elaborate scheme exposed for all to see. Facing charges of fraud and false advertising, they stood before the courts, stripped of their facades of charm and deceit. The trial captivated the city, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of dishonesty and exploitation. Witnesses came forward, sharing their harrowing experiences of being deceived and cheated. Through their testimony, the full extent of the scam was laid bare, leaving no doubt of Mr. Patel's guilt. In the end, justice prevailed. Mr. Patel and his cohorts were held accountable for their actions, facing significant penalties for their crimes. Central Grocers was shut down, its door sealed as a symbol of triumph over dishonesty and corruption. As the dust settled and the city recovered from the shockwaves of the scandal, a sense of empowerment lingered in the air. Sarah, hailed as a hero by her fellow New Yorkers, reflected on her journey with pride. Though the road had been fraught with challenges, she had emerged victorious, igniting a spark of change that would forever alter the city's landscape. Summary In the heart of New York City, a seemingly ordinary corner store named Central Grocers concealed a dark secret, a sophisticated scam orchestrated by its owner, Mr. Patel. Through deceptive pricing tactics and false advertising, unsuspecting customers were lured into a trap of inflated prices and manipulated labels. Enter Sarah, a determined young woman who refused to be a victim of deceit. Upon discovering the truth behind Central Grocer's scheme, she embarked on a crusade for justice, rallying the community and mobilizing local authorities to investigate the fraudulent practices. Through her unwavering resolve and the collective efforts of the community, Mr. Patel's scam was exposed, and justice was served. Central Grocer's was shut down, its perpetrators held accountable for their crimes. Sarah's bravery and determination inspired a movement for change, reminding New Yorkers of the power of unity in the face of adversity. Though the road was arduous, her triumph stood as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring pursuit of truth and fairness.